Alrighty guys, good day. Hopefully you have an awesome day or night or morning or whatever the case may be. Welcome to episode 93 of Wizard 101 Let's Play. Today, our last episode, we did a bunch of questing. This, this episode, <laughs> we are going to go to our the level time has come 58 again, young spell. Wizard, for you to report for class. And I do believe it is a Frost Sword, which is pretty awesome, so... It's going pretty sick. And, um, yeah, after that, guys, we're going to come back in and continue on with defeating and collecting the provisions of the Jackal Bandits. And, um, yeah. So, I'll get back to you when I'm, when I'm with Woo. Alrighty guys, we are back in Wizard City and we're going to talk to Miss Wu to get started our brand new spell. I think you guys are pretty excited, I'm pretty excited myself. Can you guess why I've called you here, young wizard? I have wonderful news! It is time for you to learn a new spell. This one is the most powerful spell to date, the Summoning of the Forest Lord. I will entrust the Life Tree Blossom to tell you more. Alright. So, so, I just want to say something. If you're new to the game, once you reach 48, the teachers will. I mean, it's gonna. Love you. <laughs> Don't worry. Hope you guys all know. Obviously. Good day to you, young wizard. Melinda Wu told me that you were ready to learn about the Forest Lord. The Forest Lord is an ancient avatar of the wild forest and of nature itself. Vigorously alive, fierce in fang and claw, dark of fur and sharp of horn, it is as fearsome as it is majestic. It will serve only the most loyal of life wizards, so you should be honored if it answers your call. Professor Wu will undoubtedly have more to tell you. You should speak with her. Alright, so now we're going to talk to Professor Wu. And I reckon by level 59, we'll get 30k health, which is pretty awesome. I trust you learned enough of the Forest Lord from Blossom. This is exciting for us both. Though the Forest Lord is a creature of incredible majesty and strength, it is still a wild beast at heart. To earn its attention, you must present a gift that shows you honor it. The gift must also appeal to its hunger. The most suitable gift I can think of is a pot of clover honey, of a type found in Grizzleheim. Gristletusk, hey, in Grizzleheim's Vigrid Roughland, likely has some he can share, though he may need to be persuaded. Alright, so next we're going to Grizzleheim, which we have never been to before. Well, I've been to it, but we've never been to on this type of character. It's like an extension of, like, you know, the original, original world of, um... You guys will see in a sec, anyway. It's, um, where the winter and stuff happens. I th I think you get the quest to go to, like, the Winterland at 48. And it's actually pretty good XP. So... Do -do -do. Oh, Mr. Hang on. Mr. Cromner? It's weird. What is it? Hmm. Huh. Lilybone Mushu. What? Hold on. Oh! Wait, no, no. Where's what? Is it just not. Just not ready yet, I guess. Crocotopia, no. This must not be ready, I reckon. Have we been to Grizzleheim before? 
Alright guys, we'll we'll made up in Grizzlam. Hey guys, so we have successfully defeated the dude that we needed to and we got the pot of Honey, that's the one. We got the pot of honey and now we're gonna talk to Melinda and see what she has to say. Hello, Melinda. That will serve nicely. The Forest Lord will be pleased. Now you must take the gift of clover honey to Shoshun Village. In my own home world of Mushu, the Forest Lord favors the village, but he has not visited it for many years. Open the pot of honey. He will smell it. Alrighty guys, we'll be back after we go to this village. And also guys, another thing that I will say is that is that we have a brand new wand which gives us crit rating and also more damage. And it looks pretty awesome. I got it out of a pack, I do believe. And <laughs> it looks pretty sweet. So anyway, I'm gonna go. This looks like food. the right place. You open the jar of clover honey. The smell is incredible. Forest Lord is pleased. It will heed your call. Oh, that's sweet. Alrighty, guys, now we can go back to Mushu. Mushu. Miss Mooo herself. And finally, finally, finally get our spell. Is gonna be awesome. I do need to sell a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I've got a ton of stuff. Uh, but I obviously do that off camera. Um, some other things I got from some opening some packs is this. Um, not that. It was this. Which isn't really that good at all. <laughs> Kind of crappy if you ask me, honestly. Um, there was some vests we got. We got this guy. It's still kind of shitty though. I mean, it's alright. Don't get me wrong, it's alright. Like, it gives you more power percent, more power pip chance. Gives you 63 rating. Gives you more resistance, but however, it doesn't give you the accuracy, the damage, nor the 20% incoming that the current one we have. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep it for now. Maybe just maybe for another character, but yeah, and for shoes I didn't get I didn't get nothing. Really not much. But I'm gonna sell those off camera so you guys don't have to you know go through and be like, oh my god, this is so boring. Get back to the actual game pretty of course. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you sound like, but the forest lord came, yes? Now, here is the spell to summon it again. You will not need any more honey. Oh, yeah. And this is an all-out um, spell. Gives it to all enemies, which is awesome. Which, in my opinion, is exactly what you want. 540 to 620. It's pretty damn awesome. Um, yeah. 
So now our goal, at least my goal for this week is to get 60 and we just do this and yeah, that's it really. And also another thing that I do want to do is um, go to... What's that place that um... Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be... Hang on guys. I'm gonna search it. Cause we are... There is a place... Where you get <laughs> monstrous, you get monstrous in Zed because we are able to actually get it. I believe that one's 58, and then Gargantuan is 60. Treasure card, I don't want to learn it. I'm just not sure. Oh, I know! I know where it is now! I know where it is. Guys, we've got to do this first, and then after we do that. I'll record some more stuff tomorrow, but I do want to get these spells, they're going to be so cool. Pfft. Oh man, I just realized though. You can't select whichever one you want, it has to be, you know, it's an order basically. <laughs> it's kind of crappy, but, you know, what are you going to do? Floating land is what we're after. Um, so if we put pants are back on. And also another thing that we got. Oh, that's so cool. Dang, that's sweet. Whoa. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh no, not a survey camp. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Turn. This is the one. So I do want to get this. And um, yeah, it's 10.41 right now, so I'm going to start recording some more tomorrow. But yeah, we're going pretty awesome. We're going pretty well. School, that's what we want. That's what you want, son. Ah, oh, man. So we can get to giant. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six training points to get some monstrous. But you know what? Giant is pretty good. Hang on. Oh, we can... Ah, man, we could have chose Monstrous. Oh, well. Gargantuan's pretty good. So. Alright. So Astral. Beautiful. So we will try and get this. We'll try and one shot it. If we don't one shot it, then obviously, you know, gotta do it tomorrow. But hopefully we do. I'm hoping we do, even though I could be wrong. And it's 10,000, so we'll be able to easily level from it. Oh, excuse me. 
already. So this is the second part of Zamunda. First part was Savannah and this is the second part. Alrighty. So Jackal Bandit are these guys. And we don't need any conversions, but I do believe we don't have any whatsoever. Okay. Pretty good. That's all we need. No taxes. <laughs> Honestly, they're kind of not here. Like, they're not really that damaging. When you get that. When you get that spell that, um. has all the, like, mind where, it, where it's like. Every enemy you get to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a mode. Abstracted, but as every enemy gets a uh... <laughs> three thousand. Let's see. When everyone gets a convert in one go. You find the sacks of provisions oh, the jackals sweet. took from the wagons. Now to return them to Captain Sunrunner. Beautiful already, guys. That was quick. It was. I need you again, young wizard. These blasted big noses captured one of our guard towers. If we don't retake it, we'll lose major ground. Help us out. Defeat the Greyhorn mercenaries and free the Igoka prisoners. Oh, dude, it's like already talking to you. Sorry, dude, but I've got to intervene. Alright, we'll be right back after we finish these guys off. 
Alrighty guys, so we successfully have defeated all the guys, now we go talk to Z Cizani. Well done! You thrashed those big-nosed brutes. You have helped us secure things out here. At last, we can breathe a little easier. Come, I will have them open the Zors gates, and we can talk inside. Alright, so now we're going to talk inside. And I think I'm going to end the episode. This is recording. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to talk to her. Welcome to Zamunda. I thought we would have a moment to talk, but one of the guards just told me the big noses stole many of our shields. Please defeat some of the Greyhorn mercenaries and reclaim our shields. Once you've collected them, put them in the army. Alrighty guys, so tomorrow we are going to defeat more of these guys. And um yeah. Continue the episode tomorrow. So thanks for watching this bit. Um boys. Have a good night or day or whatever. See you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so what's up? So Last episode, we ended at where we have to go and collect some shields, and we've done that. So now we're going to return the shields to the shield rock in Zamunda. So, we're going to try and get to 60, that's our main goal. And, um, yeah. I do need to check something real quick, so it's going to get laggy. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> this mic is on. Okay, good. Alright, so the quality should be pretty damn good. Should be all okay and good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, don't do that. Don't do that. Alright. Exit that. Alright, now we're going to talk to Cizani Sunrunner, which is the captain, she was just over here, come on, like, don't do that. Oh my, no lag! You little shit! You're an excellent warrior. <laughs> Holy shit, that was close. Now that you have recovered our shields, it is time to muster the warriors in the city. Tell them to go to the barracks. Arm them, and help train them to fight the big noses by showing them how to duel. Alright, so we're going to go and interact with these defender dudes, and place them just for defense, really. That is the main goal, so there's also one or two back in this area, so we're going to go and convince them to fight for our beastly nation now there was one or two around here somewhere yeah you know we can get to them all right so by the time we go get this dude I should be already um, respawned over the other ones come on no Alright, so apparently we can't get those guys, which is a shame. But, oh well, the guys over here should be already spawned. Alright. Yes, they are. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. This mouse is hella sensitive, though. Alright, so we get the last dude, which is just over here. Alright. Now it's time to head over to the barracks and get these troops some weapons. Alrighty, so next we have to go into the barracks to get these weapons and have them for our troops. So yeah, as I said guys, today's focus is on getting on 60. Pretty, pretty, almost, already, almost halfway there really. What yeah. could you have to teach us? We are mighty hunters and warriors. Alrighty, guys, so we'll be back after we defeated these guys. Sh 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 
should be a piece of cake, really. So, um, yeah. We'll be back after we defeated these guys. Time. Alright, so we've cut back. So we went in there and we defeated two dudes that were like, Bish. <laughs> we are the ultimate damn warriors. But so much more on it than you, that is true. Oh, oh Jesus, so I was about to go through the middle. That's no good. No, oh. No, oh, that's not good. Do not do that, Wizard 101. Wizard 101, you will get screwed over. Alright. So now we're going to talk to Zizani. I'm sure you gave them a proper lesson in the fighting arts. Your help has proven invaluable. Captain Blackhoof's order said you were looking for a missing herd of wizards? I think you should speak to our king, Shaka Zibu. You will find his magician, Titi Snaketail, near the palace. Plead your case with Titi, and I'm sure he will help you. Alright, so now we're gonna go talk to Titi. Tis to Snaketail. And his abode. And, um, yeah. Let's see what he says. Greetings, wizard. You look as though you are lost. Tell me what you seek, and I will help you find what you need. You are searching for a missing herd of wizard students? I have heard rumors of these tourists to our land. King Shark Azibu wants to meet you immediately, but he is in the middle of a war council. We must wait until he is free. I have heard legends of the greatness of you wizards. It would inspire our warriors to know you fought with them. Show us that the long dreamer shamans and greyhorn mercenaries are no match for your strong medicine. <laughs> this will impress Shaka Zibu. Alright, so... We are going to go and defeat some long dreamer shamans and some greyhouse... Um... The Earth, Earth guys, basically. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll be right back after that. Alrighty guys, so we successfully defeated the nine of the dudes. And now we're going to talk to TC. We're on the wrong... Man. I hate when you think you're going the right way, but then you just face with them. And then you're like, oh boy. Wrong way. Alright. Impressive. I did not think you would win. So quickly. <laughs> I'm a boist. Shaka Zibu heard how you beat the Long Dreamer shamans like a drum. He wants you to raise a force of Igoka defenders and strike the elephants like summer lightning in heavy thunder. Go to the barracks and rally the Igoka defenders. I'll meet you there. Alrighty, so now we're gonna take the trip to the barracks. I mean... Not gonna skip this just because it is pretty quick, and this is definitely gonna be a 30 minute episode for sure. Possibly even 40, so I do gotta cut What's some stuff. On? This doesn't look right at all. You got here too fast. I mean, I am Tom Tom Snakeskin, a Greyhound. I mean, we are a Goka defender. I mean, Ah, Bada! Kill the wizard! <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we just found out that he's really the traitor. Alright, we'll be back after we do this. We are back. And we have defeated them. And we found out that, no surprise, he is a traitor. And he should have never been in cast. <laughs> Incarcerated as a warrior because he's fake. What? ZZ Snaketail is a Greyhorn? ZZ Snaketail is a straight up traitor. Oh, ZZ is not a Greyhorn, but a traitor disguised as one. And he had Greyhorn mercenaries painted up as zebras? Ingenious. We Pretty must genius. tell Shaka Zibu once we have hard proof. The Greyhorns didn't get in through the Zos Gate, so there must be a breach. Search the city walls to find the breach and please fix it. Once you've reinforced it, meet me back outside the source gate. Alright, so we're gonna go and quickly 
find the wall and make sure we fix it and make sure they do not there get it in is. it. A hole big enough for a greyhorn to pass through. You'll need to find some wood planks to fix it. So all we need is to find some wood planks and I'll see you guys after. Alrighty boys, so we've fixed the wall that was the wood planks. Now we're going to talk to Zizani again. You found and fixed the hole in the wall? Good work. I have not found the evidence we need yet, but I had to check on the Agoka defenders out here. It's not going well. The Greyhorns have put a scout tower on fire. Defeat some Greyhorn mercenaries and survey the scout tower, then report back. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go to defeat some of these guys and then we're going to report back and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and it seems like some people Water are elementals? giving some that trouble. That gives me an idea. Water elements. If you could get control of the water elementals, we could use them to douse the fire. You'll need to defeat the Long Dreamer shamans and claim their stone talismans. They use those to control the elementals. Can you come to Four Falls Mill in Triton Avenue? It's an emergency. <laughs> Young wizard, ominous winds are blowing and your help is essential in quieting them. Come I have need of a student of your exceptional abilities. Can you visit me in my office at Pigswick Academy? Alrighty guys, we have successfully done our job and got to 60. Um, next episode, I will actually look for some new stuff. I've still got 45 um, equipment, so um, yeah, when we're back, we'll start off getting by new, new awesome stuff. And that's really about it. So thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, next episode we will defeat some long dream of shamans and get to collect the stone talismans and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. And peace.